like I'm interested. I want to, I want yeah, to, I, you know, I, I want to you. find out more about. You. But what kind of writing do you do? Truth. I. W- Is it just your basically your perspective, your your viewpoint, your your. Maybe I should read something. Read something. Yeah. Read something. The, the new, the, okay, the new book, the, the new book yeah. is called Knuckle Tattoos. The reason that it's called Knuckle Tattoos is because once you get those tattoos over here, you're not hiding them. Right. You can't put the shirt on. You can't hide uh-huh. your leg. Okay. And you're just telling the world, like, I'm probably, now I'm probably not going to go into the corporate world. Now I'm not going to be a kindergarten teacher. All this shit is yeah. not going to happen. Uh-huh. I am putting it out right now. Right. And that's how I feel about my writing. That at some point I said, I'm just putting it out right now. And that's why I write. You and know, so what I write is it's a combination of my experiences, what, let's I, what hear I see. Something. Okay, let's, let's hear, hear something. something, Puma. Okay, how about Where did this? Puma come from, by the way? I had a Puma knife. Do you remember those? A Puma knife? Yes, it was in a sheath, and since oh. it was about this big, yeah. it wasn't a concealed weapon, and you were able to walk around. I guess I do it. remember those then, actually. Yeah. yeah, knives were big at one point. Yeah. And what was so this? Was, was this the 80s? I think it was. Yeah, or? it was. Right. And yeah. And I also used to hitchhike a lot, so it, it came in extremely handy. All right, read us something, wow. Puma. All right, I'm going to read this because I opened to it. It's called "Who She Was and Always Will Be." She wears her past on her face, painstakingly applied the way girls prepare for dances and proms. Not that she had ever been invited to either. She was the hot chick that would actually fuck you. Her name was not Angela. It was Ryan or Anita or Lara. It doesn't matter how the years pass. Her word is still good, and so is her pussy. Her truth terrifies the unprepared. She is always ready. There are no yearbook pictures, no wedding rings, though there was a marriage, once. She never changed her surname, she knew it wouldn't last. Cigarettes, drugs, guns, and beer, gone, unmissed, unwanted, unheard. Decades flicker behind blue eyeliner and ebony mascara. Hot chicks never die, they watch and wait. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. You know, I had the same thoughts this morning when I woke up. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. morning. Yeah. Then the toilet paper broke on my finger. Then I was really pissed. Oh. <laughs> I was mm-hmm. really fucking pissed. <laughs> Only B. But I was getting into that. it there for a while, man. That's all I got to say. I was getting into it. Do the song, B. Oh, yes. All right. Let's go. B, B, B. B, B, B song. B. All right. Here we go. Okay. It goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Slip of the finger. It It must have been that toilet paper. Well, you know about that. Uh, It's got to be somebody's birthday today. Oh, yeah, Kevin Bacon. There there you go. That goes out to Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Little pork, are you? Well, didn't he lose all his money with Mad Oz? Oh, yeah. Poor Kevin Bacon. He lost his money with what? Mad idiot. Bernie Bernie Madoff. He oh, made off with yeah. or something? Yeah. Or, or no, yeah. All the financial yeah, guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Kevin Bacon was crying the blues yeah. from that hey, one. Hey, listen, man. If you, can't afford the lo- if you can't afford to lose it, don't gamble. All right, anyhow, that song is called Skeletons in the Closet, and I'm sure you are eager to share one of your skeletons with us. Oh, my God. You know, I, uh, one of my skeletons, I, I, have, I have so many. Thank you for being so honest like we are. <laughs> so many people say that, and so many people say, who, me? Yeah. I don't have a skeleton. Yeah, you know, so many, so many of them are out here. Exactly. Thinking, well, like, I know. What, that's like, what didn't I tell you? Exactly. Yeah. You know. Well, well I, tell I, I somebody who's listening in China who doesn't understand English, you know, that <laughs> <I don't> uh, <laughs> what's going on. Or someone, yeah, you know, exactly. Or someone in Russia who's drunk and is, is, is just barely coherent or someone in Zimbabwe, you know, who finds you very attractive, you know. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, I, I guess one of, one of my skeletons is that I, I, I sort of no longer understand. This isn't a skeleton. This is just the way it is. I sort of like no longer understand monogamy or its purpose. Oh, I mean, I, I see. You. you know what I mean? I, I mean, I, I, I suppose it's an option, but what really. You're a swinger? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying I'm in anything. I'm oh. just saying that. Why don't why doesn't anyone believe me? Men always think you have an agenda when you say shit like that. Like, no, really, I don't want a relationship. It's like it said in that poem, I'm the hot chick that will actually fuck you and they're like, Oh no, no, you must wanna like marry me or something and that's 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 sort of the last thing I want to do. I don't even know why I'm talking do you about believe that. I think but you I, are for the guy in Zimbabwe cool. in Russia. Do you, yeah, do you yeah, believe yeah, in gay marriage? China. Yeah, why the hell not? I mean if they want to suffer along with the straight people. Right. I don't think they should get that special treatment when, <laughs> when they can't. 
you know, a gay marriage like my parents, they <laughs> they they fought over like Woody, like the Woody Allen movie, which was the better ocean. The Should this the woman Pacific. get custody of Michael Jackson's kids? Which woman? The, 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 one, the, the biological well, mother. Well, we don't even know if she really is the biological mother. Has that been determined? So you're just a very skeptical person to begin with. Is um, what you're saying. Maybe, maybe a tad cynical. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I don't know who I don't know who should get those kids. And what about the youngest one? Who no one even knows where he came from. The blanket? Bl- the blanket one, Aww. yeah. The dangling blanket kid. I mean, the so poor thing. So cute. I don't know. They, 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 they look... Jackson's clan. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird because here... Puma Pearl. Pearl is yes. short for something? What's your... No, it actually is. P-E-R-L. I, I, I was born with that name. Cool. I'm sure it was short for something once. Or you, I, you're a native New Yorker. You're born and raised in New York. I was native born here, New yeah. Yorker. But when right, whatever grandparent came New along York. through Ellis Island, I don't think they were Pearl. They were Pearl or Whitsburg. Right, Burgos, right. They shortened it all that, Something, yeah. you know, yeah. Well, we thank you very, very much for coming thank on you, our Puma. show. Thank you, Puma. Thank you. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the chocolate. Absolutely. National okay. Chocolate and Almond Day. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> 